not pulling any punches. President Joe Biden says if China attacks Taiwan, the U.S. will defend it militarily. Yes, that's the commitment we made. The White House says Biden's comments don't reflect a change in policy, referring to the 1979 Taiwan Relations Act, by which the U.S. would provide Taiwan with resources to defend itself. But that act doesn't require military intervention. At least one Republican congressman liked what Biden said. Coming from the president's very, very strong. And I think China needs to understand that, that they can't take this lightly and that we're not going to sit back idly and watch them invade Taiwan. China reacted quickly and forcefully, saying China deplored and rejected Biden's comments. Its foreign minister called Taiwan part of China and that it wouldn't stand for outside interference. Some Chinese officials believe the U.S. is testing China to see how far it will go says this expert. That is dangerous if they if they actually conclude that, because that could imply that Xi Jinping feels that he's being backed into a corner, that uh, he has to do something to uh, to show that China has uh, a sovereignty uh, over Taiwan. Countries should be very active now to, to tell China, you better be careful. This former Canadian ambassador to China says recent actions against Russia by the U.S. and others also act as a warning. And the message now to China needs to be? Don't think about invading uh, Taiwan. Uh, you have to maintain the status quo. Otherwise, uh, you would be subject to uh, heavy sanctions. He believes if China does invade, other nations, including Canada, will do their part to support the U.S. Magda Gebrasselassie, CBC News, Washington.